You probably check your battery health more than your bank account, unplugging at exactly 80% and avoiding fast charging like it's poison. Two years later, your battery health sits at 84% anyway. Ever wonder why all those battery rituals feel completely pointless? Today, I'll explain what actually kills your battery like you're five years old. By the end, you'll understand which habits matter and which ones are just theater for your anxiety. Here's what nobody tells you about battery degradation. Your battery isn't dying because you're charging it wrong. It's dying because batteries degrade naturally, like fruit going bad. You can refrigerate an apple and handle it carefully to slow the rot but you can't stop time. The apple will eventually turn brown and mushy, no matter what. Batteries work exactly the same way with chemical decay. They degrade because of three things, heat, high voltage, and time. Not because you charge them with the wrong technique or use the wrong cable or adapter. Think of heat as the ultimate battery assassin that speeds up degradation. It speeds up the chemical reactions inside your battery that break it down. Your battery loses capacity permanently when it gets too hot like chocolate melting on a hot dashboard. High voltage, which means sitting at 100% charge, keeps your battery in a stressed state. It's like holding your breath underwater for extended periods. You can do it briefly, but the longer you stay there, the worse it gets. And time is the one villain you absolutely can't fight. Your battery loses a tiny bit of capacity every single day just by existing. It's like jeans that slowly get less comfortable, even though they fit perfectly last year. Now here's where people completely miss the point about modern charging. Fast charging isn't bad for your battery at all, despite what you've heard. Modern phones are designed to handle it with smart systems. They've got thermal management systems, charging controllers, and software that throttles power when things get hot. Fast charging only becomes a problem when it generates excessive heat. And most of the time, your phone handles that fine. It's like saying microwaves destroy food when they don't. They heat it up quickly, which is the whole point. If you leave something in too long, that's a you problem, not a microwave problem. Same logic applies to charging to 100% on your phone. So listen carefully. It's not evil and your phone isn't going to explode. The real issue is sitting at 100% for hours after it's fully charged. If you charge to full and immediately unplug, you're fine. But if you plug in at night, hit 100% by midnight, and stay plugged in until 7 a.m., you're keeping your battery at high voltage for seven hours. That's like making your battery hold a plank position all night. Sure, it can handle it, but it's not happy about it. Over months and years, that stress adds up like small subscription charges you keep forgetting to cancel. Here's what actually murders your battery, and most people ignore it completely. Leaving your phone in a hot car will destroy it. Gaming while fast charging creates dangerous heat levels. Using your phone outside in summer sun while it's plugged in and running multiple apps. You're throwing your battery into a sauna and asking it to run a marathon. Heat plus high voltage equals disaster for your battery. That's the combination that ages your battery faster than anything else you could do. So what actually matters for battery health? Three simple rules. First, avoid heat at all costs no matter what you're doing. Don't charge your phone in hot environments or leave it on your dashboard. Don't game or use GPS while fast charging unless absolutely necessary. If your phone feels warm, give it a break. It's not being dramatic. It's literally cooking from the inside. Heat is the single biggest factor in battery degradation that you can control. Second, use optimized charging features. Every modern phone has this now. It learns your routine and delays hitting 100% until right before you wake up. Instead of sitting at full charge for 8 hours, it sits at 80% and tops off in the last hour. You do nothing. Your phone does the work. This feature alone can significantly extend your battery's lifespan without requiring any effort from you. Third rule. Don't stress the extremes, but don't obsess either. Staying between 20% and 80% is genuinely helpful. But you don't need to set 17 alarms and sprint to your charger the second you hit 81%. That's insane. You're not diffusing a bomb. You're charging a phone. If you occasionally need 100% for a long day, charge to 100%. If you sometimes hit 5% before plugging in, you'll survive. The goal is avoiding the extremes most of the time, not living in constant fear of crossing invisible lines. Let's talk about what people waste energy on. You've probably seen someone freak out about using third-party chargers or refusing to charge overnight. 
or buying special cables that promise to extend battery life through magical engineering. It's all noise. Your battery doesn't care about brand names. It cares about heat and voltage. A cheap cable that generates heat because it's poorly made? Yeah, that's bad. But a quality third-party cable that handles power correctly? Totally fine. The brand on the cable matters far less than whether it's generating excess heat during charging. This matters to you because battery anxiety is real and it's exhausting. You're checking settings, reading forums, second guessing every charging decision like you're playing high stakes poker. Meanwhile, the actual battery killers are things you're ignoring. That hour you spent on TikTok while your phone baked in direct sunlight, that did more damage than a month of charging to 100%. That time you left your phone in the car during a heat wave, you just aged your battery by six months in one afternoon. You're worrying about the wrong enemy. It's like installing a security system on your front door while leaving the back door wide open. The reality is that lithium ion batteries have a chemical limit. Inside your battery, lithium ions move between two electrodes during charging and discharging. Each cycle causes tiny structural changes to these electrodes. Heat accelerates these changes dramatically. High voltage creates additional stress on the electrode materials. Time allows these small changes to accumulate into noticeable capacity loss. This is chemistry, not negligence. You can optimize conditions, but you can't stop the fundamental process. Here's something else people don't realize. Battery degradation isn't linear. It doesn't lose 10% capacity per year like clockwork. It might lose 5% in the first year, then 8% in the second, then 12% in the third. The degradation accelerates as the battery ages because the structural damage compounds. Early damage makes the battery more vulnerable to future damage. This is why the way you treat your battery in the first year matters more than how you treat it in year three. The verdict? Stop babying your battery with rituals that don't move the needle. Your battery is going to age no matter what you do. That's the deal you made when you bought a device powered by lithium ion chemistry. You can slow it down, keep it cool, let your phone optimize charging. Avoid camping at 100% all night, but you can't stop it. And honestly, living freely with 85% health after three years beats obsessing daily over every percentage point just to hit 90%. You bought the phone to use it, not to serve it like some demanding pet. Focus on heat. Let your phone handle the rest. Accept that batteries age. It's liberating, honestly. You'll stop checking battery health every three days like you're monitoring stocks. You'll stop panicking when you need a full charge. You'll stop judging people who charge overnight like they committed a crime. Your battery will last as long as it was going to last anyway, and you'll have spent less mental energy worrying about it. To recap, batteries age because of heat, high voltage, and time, not because you charged them wrong. Fast charging is fine unless it makes your phone hot. Charging to 100% is fine unless you camp there for hours. The real killers are heat related hot cars, gaming while charging, leaving your phone in the sun. Three rules, avoid heat, use optimized charging, don't stress the extremes. Everything else is noise designed to make you feel productive while accomplishing nothing. So here's the real question. Are you going to keep treating your battery like fragile glass that might shatter if you breathe wrong? Or will you trust that modern technology can handle normal use? Drop your answer in the comments, especially if you're one of those people with a spreadsheet tracking charging patterns, because I genuinely need to understand that level of commitment.